Hey kids, this is Mr. Cozy and this is video 27 where we talk ab about complex numbers including i and we will also talk about adding, subtracting, and multiplying numbers that include i. So that's the plan. Let's get started. Um, i is kind of a weird number. i has the property that if you square it you get negative one. In fact, that's that's the most important thing you can remember is 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 that if you square i, you get negative one. Okay. Now this this leads some people to conclude that i is the is the um the s square root of negative one. And that isn't wrong. It's just not the the only possible version for for i. I could also be the negative square root of negative one. Um, either either definition is valid. Uh, for our purposes, we're we're going to use this one because it's it's the easiest to use. And what's most important is whichever one you use if you if you s square i you get negative 1 okay um, now a complex number use i Ex examples of complex numbers are 4 plus 3i uh, six minus two i, um, three three uh, minus i, and so on. Every complex no number has a real part and an imaginary part, which is what whatever number is with i. And the the proper way to write a complex number is as real part plus or minus, and then the the imaginary part, and then i. Okay, so this is how we'll we'll write every complex number that we see: real part, Im, imaginary part, and that's important when we start to do arithmetic with complex numbers. Let's look at adding and subtracting. Uh, let's try to add 4 plus 3i plus 6 minus 2i. The name of the game for for adding and sub, sub, subtracting is to collect like terms. 4 and 6 are like terms. Add them up, I get 10 for the real part. Uh, 3i minus 2i, those are like terms. Add them up, I get negative 1i. And there's, m there's my answer. Real part is 10. Imaginar Im imagine imaginary part is negative 1. Let's look at another one. 8 minus 5i minus 7 minus 3i. Okay, I'm sub 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 subtracting this complex n number here. When you sub subtract, you change signs and add, and now I'm just collecting like terms. Eight minus seven is one. Ne negative five plus three is negative two. One minus two i. Okay, so adding and sub subtracting is just collecting like terms. If I multiply 3 plus 2i times 4 minus i, if I multiply, I need to FOIL. Okay, so first, uh, 3 ti times 4 is 12. Outer, 3 times negative 1 is negative 3. 
i inner 2 2y ti times 4 is 8i and last uh, 2i times negative i is negative 2i squared now remember that i squared is negative 1 so what this really is is this is negative 2 times negative 1 or positive 2 so what I have is 12 minus 3i plus 8i plus 2 and then I can work that out 12 plus 2 is 14 negative 3i plus 8i is 5 and there we go okay so that's adding sub subtracting and multiplying complex numbers um, now I have a, a little bit of time left so I, th I think it's important to, to just take a minute and talk about why we have complex numbers we have complex numbers because there there were were really easy e e equations that we could write that didn't seem to have a solution. An example would would be something like um, x squared plus one equals zero. A very easy equation, and yet it didn't. It this has no solution in the real number system. There 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 were enough equations like this that mathematicians be, began to 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 suspect that something was 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 missing in in their conception of what was and was not a number and so they did something that that is a a really common um, theme in mathematics they invented a new number they invented I and said okay I is the is the square root of, of ne negative 1 a aka I has the property that if you square it you get negative 1 now mathematicians can't just blindly invent stuff I mean they they can but there's there's a few re requirements that that need to be met before people uh, begin to to accept this new in invention, uh, first off, um, your invention needs to solve the problem. And as it turns turns out, I it was wildly su successful in solving this problem. Not only could could these the these simple equations and um, be solved with 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 I but as it turns out um, any polynomial e equation using real numbers as coefficients can, can be solved using I so I wildly was wi wildly su successful in solving the the problem of we can can of not being able to to solve certain kinds of equations. Secondly, the thing that 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 you invent has to be logically consistent, and it has to be con consistent with the rest of mathematics as you understand it this arithmetic that we've just learned adding sub subtracting mul multiplying and tomorrow dividing all of of that lends to the fact that that I is logically c consistent with the rest of of the real number system as we understand it in fact if you take the um, the real number system and you add in I what you get is the complex number system which which contains all of the of the real numbers 
and adds a, a little bit extra. Uh, so, so I was successful in solving the problem. It was logically consistent with with all of of the of the math that we 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 understood to that point. Lastly, um, I appears in the natural world. A lot of of natural phenomenon, in particular electricity. Um, exhibits behaviors um, that are are indicative or unique to I and so um, I is law lo is logically consistent um, it solves the 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 problem that it was meant to solve and then some and it appears in nature and so even though I was was invented it's actually kind of an 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 actual thing. Okay, so um, I think I've I've talked an, enough for now. I'm gonna cut this this off here. Have a great day, and I'll see you later. Bye.